Hi, welcome to a foreigner in the Philippines. I'm going down now to do a work in progress on Lena's house. Well, the, le the addition that she's doing and our friend Wilbert Hello. from Macau is coming with me. Yeah. As is our skinny puppy. Come on puppy. Let's go. Also, it's uh, going great. Yes. Looks like they're some, some steaming more, ahead. Some of small palace. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. How are you there? doing? Good afternoon. Good morning. <laughs> No smoking, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> smoking from the mountain? <laughs> well, I guess that the... I guess this uh, has been blessed by the dogs. Yeah, and they have the footprints already out there. Yeah, they've, they've signed it. Which is good. <laughs> so I don't know where Timio is. <laughs> See the dogs. The dogs put their sick their names. The dog. Yeah, the dogs. The dogs sign their names. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's our little work in progress. Timio's not here, so I can't really discuss any of the finer details, but it looks like they're going to come up maybe another course, and then that addition will be for the bathroom. Things are a lot different here. You would not really have a toilet coming off the kitchen in the West. That would be against code. And guess what? We're not in the West. We're in the Philippines. Hi, Lena. Too late. She's gone. And here we are. Here we are, little guy. Come on. Come say hello. Yes, 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 yes. Look at you. You're looking better. You are looking better. Still not looking wonderful. You're not in for any beauty contests. But, <laughs> but you're certainly feisty enough, which is all about survival, isn't it? You've got to get a little bit angry to get onto the survival scale. Let's have a look at you. Not so bad. Not so, not so many ribs. And that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, still need to go back, but improving. Trouble is that no matter how weak these little, no matter how weak these little puppies are, they can still get savaged. Somebody made the suggestion, and we have we have done this. We did this with Yoda. Uh, we had to because we didn't think that he was going to survive. And uh, what I'm talking about is isolating them. We put him into a little, uh, a little crib, if you if you want to call it that way, uh, a little cage, and he was kept, he was kept in isolation simply because he couldn't have stood up for himself. Now this little one, you would be surprised at how feisty this little one is. He really is. Somebody took his food, and boy, he had a go at Yoda. So, he's doing okay. Tiger, I see, has a big lump out of the back here because he's uh, uh, been talking to the wrong um, males or female puppies. Dogs, I should say. So, we'll take it one day at a time. It's not possible to isolate all of the puppies because 
they don't like it. And as soon as you isolate them, come night time, nobody gets to sleep. Now we have, we have a spray which is to help them with the, with the scratching, but of course it takes them only one shot of the spray to learn what the spray is about and as soon as they see it in your hand they run and they can run pretty fast here's the old papa the papa goat and he looks like he's a bit tied up okay I've heard that uh, that these animals can be quite unpredictable and those horns I think if you've got those horns in the wrong place and when the when the goat stands up, they're right about groin level. So I'll pass on messing with these, this guy. He's big. Hey! <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to know either. Oh, and that's a mama goat. I thought that that was a male. Eventually, of course, all of this can be cleared up and something done. We're not, we're not trying to cover the entire hilltop in concrete, okay? But we would like to use space for obvious uses, obvious purposes. Clean. Yes, we we did uh, a big clean up the other day for this this part of the of the property can can be kept relatively clean without getting in the way of the guys who are doing the work, and that's that's the the whole purpose. So it's not going to be filled again with building debris. Oh, I got this got the and for the day. Yeah, I guess it's happy hour. Because the mother it's gave happy it. hour for the babies. The mother give it freely. Yeah. Ah, feel pain. But that small good is not the brother and sister, right? <laughs> no, they're not. Uh, they're not that bothered, are they? Oh well. They're sitting down on it now. You just have a little milk. Well, they're good pals, those. They're quite close. Okay, well. That's a quick look round our new porch that's onto the new building. Still lots of work to do on that yet. There's a house. House has lots to do. The porch that, that is going to give us a, a, a safe a safe place to walk out of the door on. And our guest house, we had the two extra windows put in there. And that at the moment is where we're camping out. The new house, the new part of the house is, is coming out to here. So if you look from here, it will be roughly about 22 feet and it will come out. It will come out down to here so that we get a large, a large kitchen, come dining, come uh, family room and two bedrooms. So I don't want tiny little bedrooms, so 
and we may have to come out widthwise going from where uh, Wil Wilbur was standing right out to maybe a little bit wider than the existing house there maybe to here and then after that where you're standing Wilbur we're going to we're going to we're going to continue that deck and continue it on so that that part is inclusive of the deck as well which probably will mean that we're going to re we're going to take this fence and reuse it along the edge there that's the idea so that will make that part there an enclosed courtyard for the want of a better for the want of a better uh, description. So might be that that space will be the the open open area. Well, uh, or just treat that up to about the corner there. We'll continue. We'll probably continue this, and that will join on to the new the new addition when when we can do that. We're going to have to sell both of the trucks in order to be able to do that. We don't have the finances to be able to do that. We have uh, a lot of uh, commitment now on, on existing work. I'll have to finish the inside of the, of the new wing, if you like, of that new addition. I'll be doing some finishing on that myself, uh, getting a smooth finish on the wall up to five feet or four feet that will fall to me rather than not have that done and rather than pull somebody off to do that work mm -hmm. so you still a big house here if you yeah so if this you... will be a large space yeah we'll cut back some on the on the mango this can be stunned 18 by 18 house it's still a big house. yes 18 yes by it 18 will is house. it will be big oh well this one here this one uh, the existing, the new one, is 19 by 19. Ah, that's big, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But we're thinking of making this one 19 by 22, at but least. Uh, not, not that square yeah. size. Not square. So we'll be bringing it out this way, and possibly taking it that way too. That's but that's all in the planning stage. And just for looking at at the moment. Well, thanks for looking in. This is a work in progress on more than just Lena's house, which it started off as. And there's Lena busying herself, uh, I think, doing some laundry or washing. And the workers down there doing the roofing. Well, that's going to look great. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Here we are. Uh, around 3 30 4 o'clock and, and the sun is getting ready to sink behind those hills give us a beautiful sunset because it's such a lovely day thanks for being with us don't forget to like comment subscribe bye for now